Hello there, I'm Dr. D2 and this is Masochizia. I don't know much about this game, but one of my best friends gave it to me, so I'm gonna play it because it looks like something worth playing. That's all I got. Let's start. Notice, this game includes mature content, pervasive language, violence, and oppressive themes. Awesome! Recommended for ages 18 and up. Click no to immediately exit this program. Click yes to proceed. I'm going to click yes. <coughs> Based on a true story. Hello, Hamilton. Did you run away again? What? I'm seeing something at the bottom of the screen there that doesn't seem to make sense. But whatever. Who's there? Do you not know? Who am I talking to? Uh, let's go with the no more talking, please. Do you think you can silence me, Hamilton? Our voice is too strong. Huh. Key! Aged key, flecks of rust and earth stain its bow and blade. Oh, that's the inventory I saw. Okay. Yep, all right, so that's what that is. So, a locked door. This needs a code. Can't open it. Nice little style. The style almost makes it look like everything's seen wrong or something. It's weird. I want to use the key. won't work. I don't have the code. Well, what if I wanted to use the key? Okay. Why is there like a weird shadow over my mouse cruiser thing? It's like the, my monitor's been turned to one of those old-timey TVs. But that doesn't make sense. Well, what if I could kind of look closer at the key? I'm kind of already at a loss. I don't know why I'm not using the key on the door. Um, did I miss something? Alright, interact E or space. Fire is mouse. Inventory is I. Rescue. Okay. Huh. Well. No. Okay, you have to drag them onto the... Oh, hi. So you have to drag the items from the inventory onto what you want to do, and then you get eaten by the old man scientist zombie. Makes perfect sense. Welcome back. What was that? They call him... The Gray Man. He doesn't scare me. Did I tell you that he should scare you? 
Sometimes what we fear the least will be our eventual doom. Besides, you have more in common with him than perhaps you even realize. You should head back home, Hamilton. Your poor mother, she must be worried sick about you. Okay. Oh. Okay, so it's not full first person view. I came out that shed. We have a windmill. We got the valley to head into. And home. Let's go to the valley. That's the shed. Huh. I knew this was point and click, but this is not what I was expecting at all. The woods! Go completely against where I should be going and go to the woods. The woods shouldn't be wandered without reason. Let us find a reason. That's a good way of putting it. But I guess that means we're not going here. So, I guess we're going home to see Mama. That's the shed. Wow. Home kind of sucks. I'm going to check the creek first. More river. Oh, I can cross it to the rain. The sound of rain. Hmm. Yeah, let's just go home. Continue the plot. I must say I like the art style, but I don't think it needs to be the art style and the strange old style TV look combined. Seems like it just overdoes it that way. Oh, Mom, I told you to get rid of the paintings of the Plague Doctor and the skeleton. That... Uh, oops. Wrong way. Now, I know it's commonplace back then to take photos of people when they're dead, but that was just way too late. You had your chance. It's over. See, this was better. At least he still has some skin. This one's even better. That one, I'm pretty sure you just drew a smiley face on what's left of the ashes. It doesn't work when you cremate them, and then you spread. Never mind. Mom never listens to me. Yeah, chapel. Or parlor. <laughs> Nobody in my family ever had eyes. I was the poor. I was the freak of the family being born with them. Ah, dear sweet mother. She loves you. She loves you not. That's... Ah! Hamilton, my dear child. How I've missed you. Where have you been? How dare you frighten me like this? Ah, uh, Mom, I just want to say you got something on your chin. It looks like a lot more chin. Yeah, anyway. I was just outside, not far from here. Do you think I'm a fool? You forget that I created you. Worthless creation that you are. You know if I discover you're lying, I will have your father beat your skull into the floorboards. That's pretty harsh. Now tell me again, where were you? Uh, I went to the old shed in the valley. You spineless little shit lying to your own mother. Your father will beat you till your tears run dry. When your father is done with you, I won't come to help you this time. You can cry all you want, your father will. Wait, your father. 
Ah, uh, Hamilton, I am reminded. My dear child, I have a task for you. Um, please don't make me see father. My sweet child, you are a good boy. How you've grown. I love you, Hamilton. You do know that I love you, don't you? Even though I just threatened murder upon you. I need you to bring your father his medication. Your father hates me. Your father loves you, Hamilton. Almost as much as I do. He is upstairs in his room. Be a good lad now. Take him his medicine. You will do that, won't you? Fine. Dear sweet Hamilton. The scent surges through your nose, your eyes water. Well then. And then I saw her coming from the other room. Oh, how I hate her. The cunt thinks she can control me. Mother, what are you talking about? Her voice, so shrill, so piercing in my skull. And everywhere I go, she follows me. Can I have no peace? I hate her so. Please lie down. Yep, so she just gives me medicine to give to dad and then she randomly talks about someone I've never seen before. Every painting in here is just creepy. I want to make light of it, but they just... That was... I, that one on the left there at the end just hit me. That was like a owl person. Well, you have half your face. Who disturbs me? Father? Spit it out, boy! Do you have my medicine? Yes. Bring it in to me. Oh, there's Slender Man. There's a hidden. Not very well hidden. Well, I guess you're dad. There you go. What is it, boy? Father, I... Spit it out! Why must you stammer and stutter like a frightened girl? I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Why are you always sorry? Do you know who is really sorry? It is I that is sorry. You're sorry? Yes, boy. I'm sorry that I ever let that bitch of a mother birth you into an existence. Do you know she only ever gave birth to one truly good child? Then God looked down from heaven and he determined that I deserved less. He took my own son away from me. And then he cursed your mother's mind, turned her heart against her itself. And then I beat her, you see. Tried to fix what he did to me, but it was futile. Told her I needed more, I must replenish what God stole from me. And she gave me Walter. The masochistic filth. Whoa. The pain. Nah, I'm not gonna say that. Father, he is your son. Son. He is no more my seed than you are. He is a curse from God like you. At first, I tried to beat the evil out of him. But then... I found he just thrived in the pain I inflicted. In the cruelest of jokes, God gave me you. You're the worst. The combination of all their evils. I am who I am. 
I should never have, I should have never let her birth you. I stood there with a, with a hanger and the knife. Wow. I was ready to carve you from her womb. But your mother screamed. She promised me that you'd be different. But you tricked her. You lied to her. Do you know why God gave you to me? Wow, my character's a freak. Of course you don't know. God gave me you so that I could beat the evil from you. And with his help, I will surely be victorious. I feel uncomfortable. Are you all right? Ah, uh, I'm fine. You don't have to pretend to be strong for me. You must always be honest with me, Hamilton. Who am I talking to? Is this an inner voice? That's what I'm guessing. How your heart races. Can you feel it in your chest? You must calm yourself. There are some pills in your pocket. Take the pills. Why do I need pills? You're a special boy, Hamilton. So special, in fact, there are those out there who would seek to take you and make you their own. Do you remember outside the shed in the woods? The gray man? There are others far worse than he. Now take your pills. Okay. Well. Pills taken. And I can move. That's Walter's room. That's the dad's room. I'm not going to go to that again because that was just wrong. I guess I'm supposed to talk to Walter, but we're out of time for this one. This is messed up. I guess I should have guessed it from the title, but I didn't actually think I'd be playing as some weird masochist. But I'm interested to see where else this goes. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time. Later.